Hi there, we're with CandyMachines.com today, and what we're going to do today is do a quick review of the different gameplay uh, modes. So you basically have a uh, kind of a win every time mode that you can set up on the mini crane machine, or either a win ratio to where you're going to set it to where they win one in five, one in ten, something along those lines. Um, so, the, but they're two very different settings, and you have to set up your machine uh, accordingly. So the first one we're going to walk you through is if you were to set it up or if we were to set it up is more of a win every time mode uh, before it leaves our warehouse. And this is what we would do. And I'll kind of explain the different settings and how they work together as we go through it. Um, so if you get your keypad, every mini is going to have a keypad. Uh, the lower right hand corner is going to be the mode button. I'm going to take you into the menu. And you've got your buttons on the left and right to toggle, <clears throat> toggle the menu. So if you go down to system setting and you click enter and we're going to go all the way down until you see vending option and then you click enter again. First thing we want to do on a win every time mode is enable this. So we enable, just highlight it and click exit. And then we're going to go one option down below that and there's a menu in here that says grab times. You click in here, right now it's one. So what grab times is, and it works in correlation to a vending mode when it's enabled. Well, what it does, or grab times, is that's the number of times the machine's going to allow the person to play before it cuts them off. If, they, if you have it set at a grab time of five, it will allow them to play up to five times, but if they win on the second time, it's gonna stop them at gameplay number two. But if it, they don't win on the second, it's gonna allow them to continue up until five or whatever number you have set in there. Now generally what we do when we set these up is more of a win every time mode, is we set it at five. That way if you get a kid in there and he's just hitting the side, he's not gonna burn up your coil and, and just put stress on the machine. Eventually it's going to cut him off. But we also set the claw strength um, in a way to where they should win within one or two tries um, if they're actually on top of a toy. So what we would do is we're gonna go ahead and put that at five. And you can put it up to 50, but this is how we would set it up. And we got it to five, and then we put exit. And we're gonna hit exit one more time. We're gonna be at the main menu. Um, uh, the third setting with a win every time mode is the claw strength and the claw strength is important and so what you need to do is you actually go down to gantry test click enter and in here you have three different settings you have test high power test mid power and test low power um, test high power is when the claw is in all the way down position that's going to be your claw strength when that claw goes all the way down and for one second after that. The mid power is going to be after that one second point up until um, the claw raises. And then the low power is when it's going back in the home position, basically. So you've got those three different settings. On a win every time mode, we kind of want to set these a little higher um, so it doesn't, so it maintains that grip on the item. So what we do um, a lot of times with kind of a universal setting is on the high setting we will go I'm gonna put it at I'm gonna put it at 70 and then in increments of 10 we're gonna uh, decrease it as we go down so we're mid we're gonna do and you can play around with this it doesn't have to be perfect I wouldn't go too high though you don't need to go higher um, than what you need it's just gonna put undue stress on your coil over time. But for this case, we're gonna just do increments of 10. So we're gonna do 70, 60, and 50. And right now the low power is very low. So in this setting, what it would do is it would grab the toy, it would maintain that grip for a moment. Well, when it got to the home, it would loosen up. But on a win every time, we don't want it to do that. We want it to maintain that grip. So we are going to keep this a little higher and like I said we're just gonna put it in increments of uh, 10 so we're gonna go 70 60 50 on this so 
So now what we have <clears throat> with our high power is when that claw goes all the way down, it's going to grab pretty hard uh, on the item. And it's going to maintain that uh, the hardest grip for one second after it starts to go up. Then it's going to move into the mid power and it's going to loosen up a little bit, but at 60, it's still going to maintain a pretty uh, firm grip on that. And then it's going to, as it starts to move back to the home, to the to prize box, it's going to maintain it at, at, at 50 and, and that's going to ensure that they're winning that prize every time. So, so those are the three settings that we run in conjunction with one another when we're doing a win every time. Um, now this is going to be very different when you're doing a, a, a win ratio and we'll explain that here in the next video. But so now that we have our claw settings set, we'll just exit, exit until you can't exit anymore. And then we're going to hit the mode button. It's gonna take us back to our main menu. And then anytime you wanna test the machine out, instead of just putting coins or money in, if you just hit the exit button twice, it's going to play the game. And there we go, that's setting it up for a win every time mode.